In honor of Women's History Month and the WOW hitting its one year mark, we felt like it was the perfect time to look back on our growth and highlight a few of our favorite moments. I'm Jade Kenny, and still joining me is Stephanie Dijokian and Dean Samuels. They haven't ran away yet. This is the WOW brought to you by Fresh Fine Wine. No way, like, we would no, never, never, never run away. <laughs> Ladies, ladies, I literally cannot believe it has been over a year since we kicked off. Wow. Um, it has just been, you know, an absolutely amazing time with you guys. And it was actually a lot of fun, right? Re-listening to all of our shows to try to pick out some of the best, like most important and impactful quotes and advice and gold nuggets to kind of reshare with our guests. But before we even get to kind of like our year in review, let's kind of walk through how this all got started and who better to do that than Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, first, I just want to say thank you to our producer, Stevie, for hanging in there for a year and helping <laughs> us. She's been amazing. So thank you, Stevie. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so in 2019, I proposed a show produced by women for women so that our large female uh, fan base had an outlet to connect on topics of sports, obviously our love of Washington, and share insights on a wealth of topics of interest. And so we surveyed you, our WOW members, and found those important to topics were, of course, sports, health and wellness, and self-care. Our first this podcast was recorded in January of 2020. I remember driving to the park in Ashburn, terrified, nervous, had no idea what Stephanie got me into, but I knew it was something that we needed. It was something Washington and the NFL needed was this voice for women. Our first trailblazing female guest was Sarah Crennan, who is the VP and head of content for Yahoo Sports. And from that interview on, our WOW Spotlight segment was created featuring so many impactful and insightful women. Yeah, absolutely right. I mean, but it, what was interesting, I feel like about this year is that not only, you know, was this new, this was something that we were venturing into and we were bringing, you know, guests in to sit alongside this journey with us, but we literally had so many changes like within the organization, but then also just within the United States, right? We had, you know, the name change, we had Black Lives Matter protests, we had a brand new head coach, we had a lot of firsts within the Washington football team. And, you know, WOW ended up, you know, being able to discuss all of these firsts and all of this newness and all of the ups and downs of what we were going through. And we ended up going from a podcast to a show um, to support the organization and to really just make sure that this first of a kind show for women worked and um, was the voice of women and for women. And in less than a year, the WOW was joined by our partner, Fresh Vine Wine. <laughs> And we were also awarded NFL best practice by the league. So it was just an absolutely amazing year. And speaking of first, just like all of you, we were dealing with COVID at the time. So we went through um, being together, being in a studio, being able to feed off each other, meeting our guests in person to switching to doing this <laughs> virtual, figuring out Zoom, figuring out lighting, figuring out our bookcases. So it was just... <laughs> a year of ups and downs and um, just being just like you, just transparent, authentic women, just trying to make it work. And that is exactly what this year was. Uh, yeah. But with that said, we want to keep growing. We want to keep adjusting and adapting. So talk to us. We would love to hear what our listeners like best so far and what they want to hear. So be on a lookout. We have a survey coming out soon and make sure you fill it out and get it in fast so that we can make sure that the next year and next season has everything that you want to listen to. Coming up next, we are going to share a few of our favorite moments over over the year. And can you add in there that authentically I need some help with my background? I never fixed it like <laughs> they did. So any feedback is about you. <laughs> Has your business been affected by COVID-19? Have you considered reducing or moving your office space? Then it's time to call Victory Van. We provide the best service and price with flexible options for your company's moving and storage needs. Visit victoryvan.com to get your free moving and storage quote today. For corporate storage and moving, it's always the right move to choose Victory Van. That's victoryvan.com, Victory Van Corporation, delivering excellence for 75 years and proud partner of the Washington football team. Finch Services Incorporated, recognized in its industry as a world-class organization, is the exclusive supplier of John Deere golf and sports turf maintenance equipment for the Mid-Atlantic region. In business since 1945, Finch helps golf course and sports turf managers maintain some of the most exclusive playing services in the region. Experience the Finch advantage for yourself. Contact one of our golf and sports turf sales specialists to see how we can help you maintain your field of dreams. Go to finchturf.com for more information.
At RTS, game day strategy doesn't stop when the whistle blows. RTS delivers smarter, more responsible waste and recycling services. As an official partner of the Washington football team, RTS is connecting the team and FedEx field with sustainable solutions to care for the community and the environment. RTS, a better waste company. Find out more at rts.com. Over the last year of the WOW Podcast Now show, we have been very fortunate to host a variety of guests ranging from sports attorneys, entrepreneurs, marketing reps, and of course, it wouldn't be the women of Washington without our Washington football team family joining in as guests too every once in a while. We went back and listened to a year's worth of interviews trying to nail down some of our standout moments, and all I can say is, wow, we have covered a lot. We sure did. And you're right. It was wow. It was a lot of fun, like re-listening to the advice, because when you're in the moment, it sounds great, but then you move on to the next um, show. And so we ended up basically collecting a lot of advice um, through those interviews, and we noticed a trend. There were some themes that kept popping up. So we decided to kind of break out and in, into three different segments. So we have advice for women, then we have self-care, and then we also have paving the way in a sense of, you know, our guess either how they are paving the way for others or how people paved the way for them. Let's kick this off with each of our standout moments in the category of advice first. Our first interview back after making the jump from podcast to show was with Washington football team's head coach, Ron Rivera's wife, Stephanie Rivera. We couldn't start small, obviously, yeah. <laughs> who is an unbelievable mentor and coach herself. We had the opportunity to speak with her just days after the news of coach's health was revealed, and she was just such a force. Her advice on building a network and being willing to start at the bottom still stands out to me today. Check it out. The more people you know and the more perspective you have as a, as a coach will help um, you become a coach yourself. You decide what feels best for you and how and your approach to coaching. You know, and that's the thing, you know, because when I worked with different people along my the course, you know, some people were yellers, some people were quiet, some people, you know, and some people were very direct, some people were like, you know, very cerebral. There's all different ways to get to people, and I think. You know, you, you have to figure out how you as a person want to be as a coach. And I think, or get in the industry, you just, you need to talk to as many people as possible and you have to be willing to start at the bottom. My standout, one of them for advice is guest Melanie Johnson, president and COO now of Borgata Hotel and Casino, because she is a killer out there. She was MGM National Harbor. Now she's moved up to Borgata Hotel and Casino. But this woman, uh, she stressed to us, her advice was to embrace who you are, be comfortable with yourself and confident. And what we always talk about, right? Lifting one another up. Let's hear it. Don't measure yourself based upon other people's opinions. Always strive to be your best. I'm coaching some young ladies right now. And I tell a lot of them, I said, you're seeking validation through other people. You need to validate yourself. You know what? I'm good enough. And I told them, I said, I am good enough. Am I the prettiest girl? No. Am I the smartest girl? No. Do I have the best body? Wish I did, but I don't. And I said, you've got to look at all of those things. And are you good enough? Embrace who you are. Mm -hmm. Embrace your sexuality. Don't try to be a man. And you don't have to compete with men. You don't have to compete with women. And I tell them all too often, we as women, we're so hard on each other mm -hmm. that it's ridiculous. We should be shoring each other up. All of us as Washington football team fans love Coach Ron Rivera. Um, we also had the opportunity, like we mentioned before, to talk to his wife, Stephanie Rivera, and we sat down with his daughter, Courtney Rivera, who is also the Washington football team's producer for social media amazing conversation. She shared some very simple yet practical advice to stay motivated. She was able to pull um, words of wisdom from both her mom and dad and just offer some ideas on how to do the things that you should be doing each and every day, even when sometimes you just don't feel like it. One of the things I always kind of try and remind myself is something that my parents actually would tell me when it kind of came like me when I was an athlete and played softball still. Um, my mom was always the one that kind of would tell, like push, like, keep going, like, keep going forward, keep going forward. And my dad was always the one that would tell me like, Hey, take a second, just breathe because I would get nervous and way too much in my head and just overthink things. So I always kind of just remind myself like, Hey, just take a breath. You're good. Keep moving forward. Cause there's nothing I can do about the past. I just got to keep moving forward. Take a second look around 
you know where you're at and keep moving forward. Actually, Janine, to add to that, I think if our listeners want to go back, that this or that we did with Courtney Rivera, but it was mom or dad is hysterical. So that one, that whole episode, you should go back and listen to when you get a chance. Um, Okay, so moving on to my other advice that I loved was from Lieutenant General Jody Daniels. She gave us tips on actually her three top tips on being an effective leader. So I think this is, uh, again, you need to listen to this. She talks about looking two positions ahead in your career, which I think is my biggest takeaway from her. Her last one you'll hear is about taking some time off too. So one thing that I, um, I encourage people to do is sort of to look two positions ahead. Not, not just one. People tend to look sort of at the first one, but if you look a little bit further out, you think about what are the, and I get someone to help you think about what are those different options? What could I do? And then think closer in of what do I need to do to be able to get there? Because we tend to sort of focus in on, well, what's next? Well, no, no, really look a little bit, little bit further, set your sights a little bit, bit further out. Um, another tip that I give is um, delegate, delegate, delegate um, as much as possible. And, and to that effect, step away from email. Um, it's too easy to get sucked into it and to be um, you know, driven by it. And so when I go on vacation, my cell phone, it goes, it goes into the safe, it goes into you know, someplace, it gets turned off and I go off and have fun. My subordinates are positioned to run the world without me. Um, that's why we have them, I trust them and I'm demonstrating that trust by, by stepping away Um, from the cell phone and and letting them take charge. Also, another standout in the advice category for me was president and CEO of the Greater Washington Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Nicole Kirogo. Again, interview was gold. (laughs) I can say that for all of our guests. But the thing that I took away most was how she said to be intentional with how you use your title and how you speak out, which resonates for me. It's exactly what we do here on The Wow. We try to be intentional with using our platform. You know, sometimes you make phone calls and if you don't attach your title, maybe you don't get the phone call, you know, the phone call back. Um, so I, I am intentional about how I use my, my, my title. I make it a point to talk to younger women. I make it my effort to reach out to, to, to women and, 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 and tell them, you know what, um, follow me or my colleagues. Uh, I communicate to, you know, high schools, to uh, colleges. I make sure that I answer emails when I'm asked for guidance. Um, so I, I make it a very serious part of my life, um, you know, because, because we have to, you know, and I don't have to tell you beautiful ladies that, you know, sometimes women work against each other, but I feel that those times are changing. I feel that we are becoming more um, intentional. I, I continue to use the word um, in, in making sure that we don't bring each other down. And so when, whenever I'm asked and I, and I, and I also try to find women who would benefit from, you know, uh, being part of our uh, journey. And so, you know, I I do make it a very specific part of my job. And we are moving right along to our next category. We always say here on The Wow, you can't take care of others unless you have taken care of yourself first, which is why self-care is so vital to The Wow Woman. Washington football team's running back coach, Randy Jordan's wife, Romana, gave us a ton of insight and advice, but what I loved most is her comment on making sure that your tank is full before you can give back to others. Self-care is is so critical because if you can't take care of you, you know, if you're not at your best, then you really can't you know, whether or not it's organizations or your family or your community, um, you know, you really don't have anything left in your tank to give. So, um, you know, during this time, um, you know, I've really been, um, it's kind of forced me to look, you know, around home and and, and enjoying things around home to do. So, um, you know, definitely during, um, especially when we were in the first phases, uh, you know, doing home, taking time to do your own uh, pedicures and manicures and like, you know, creating a spa and, you know, for yourself. Um, but really just even for me, um, you know, when I have, you know, my alone time, you know, just to, you know, get in the word, um, you know, I love, um, photography and, and I love the outdoors. So, I mean, for me, even that self-care looks like me being able to do exactly what I want to do, which is, you know, maybe go to a winery or go to, um, you know, and outdoor, you know, and being in nature and taking pictures, that's something that's relaxing to me. So, I mean, I think, you know, self-care is important to everybody and they just have to, it looks, it looks like something different for each person. 
Um, you know, but it's definitely, you know, you know, your mental health is so important. So I um, actually had the opportunity, um, and I think as we all have to be creative and try to pivot in different ways during the um, pandemic for off the field, um, I was able to host um, two um, uh, video Zoom chats with uh, doctors, um, you know, that were able to talk you know, to the ladies that came on the podcast about just some different things that they could do um, to um, get their mental health, put themselves first. You know, you have to stop and, um, you know, take time um, for yourself, get your quiet time, you know, go for walks, do whatever you can um, during this time when there's, you know, kind of an elevated sense of where stress and anxiety can really take over. You feel like you're juggling a lot of balls. You really just have to stop and um, you know, take that time for yourself. Guest, Dr. Jermaine Williams, she's been on uh, with several WOW events. She talked about health and love with us. And it was really during the height of the pandemic when we were very uncertain about everything. And she stressed, life is fragile, let things go. Love is the highest vibration on the planet. You've got to hear this one. I think given what we have going on right now, we're really understanding how temporal and how fragile life is. You know, and at the end of the day, let it go. Let it go. I mean, you know, the bigger thing is love is the highest vibration on the planet. And if we are increasing our vibration and, and, and exercising love and not only exercising it, but deliberately and intentionally implementing it in our life, it just, it, 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 it's like amplified. You know, and so I just tell people, let it go. I mean, 20 years ago, or do you really even know what you were fighting about? Like, I mean, really, like just release and let go and spread love. That's my motto. Up next, Anita Abdeshayan. She is the co-founder of Jabon Wellness. So obviously she would be in self-care, but for a different reason. So she definitely recommends treating yourself to a day at the spa, but she put a twist on her advice for self-care. She shared advice that she has received over the years that she felt was bad advice, not healthy. So you definitely want to find out what that is. But then she also recommends that if you do have a vision, if you have a goal, if there's something out there that you want to achieve, don't let people discourage you from your vision. But then also remember that you may not be be able to just do it all, all the time. And that's okay. One thing that I will say is that if you have a vision for something and it doesn't matter if you are just so motivated by, you know, you want to be an esthetician or you're motivated by making jewelry or whatever it is. If you have a vision, there's going to be people discouraging you from your vision. Like that's, that's just flat out something that's going to happen. Um, don't let that, you know, stop you from what you want to do. If, if you're the type of person who will stay up all night, like I did, um, to achieve a goal, I think that that says a lot and, and you're going to be going places. The advice that I received that I wasn't really happy about, because there's always this question about how do you balance as a woman, you know, we're expected to do a lot. I mean, we've got a bunch of different responsibilities, especially, you know, I don't have children yet, but if you have children, there's a bunch of responsibilities that come with that too. So can you be the perfect mother, the perfect wife, the perfect business owner, the perfect, have the perfect body, have the perfect face, all this other stuff, right? And everyone that I spoke to kept giving me the mentality of those things can all be achieved. And you know, the reality of the situation is that it's okay if that doesn't happen. Um, I've been hearing too much about people saying you can do it all. Wake up and get in front of the mirror and tell yourself, you're gonna do everything today. Well, the reality is that, first of all, I don't have time to look in the mirror and talk to myself. Secondly, I wake up and I look at my list and I say, these are the things that I have time to do today. And there are a lot of things that I am not going to get to. It is not realistic to think that you can just be Wonder Woman every day. It's okay if you missed your workout. It's okay if you, you know, didn't get to make dinner for your husband. Um, there are some things that you're going to have to sacrifice, especially if you're going to be a business owner. And in my case, you know, I always wanted to grow my business, you know, move up, do a lot more, make sure that my business was constantly growing. And if you're constantly thinking about the future and how to adapt and move forward, you're not going to have time to do everything. And that's okay. It's totally fine. We're all human. I, I really do get upset sometimes whenever I see the whole you know, giving women unrealistic expectations. 
Um, because what if you don't do everything on your list that day? What if you didn't get to the gym? You can't beat yourself up about that. Those things are to be expected. If you're going to be successful in one thing, you may have to sacrifice a little bit in something else. So to wrap up this uh, segment here, I would say when we had Brandy Thomas on, Logan Thomas's wife, I loved what she said about having less of a routine, which resonated, I know, Janine, with you and I, because we're all about lists and routines. And she said, there's no lists. And this is why. Have less of a routine because then it puts less stress on your shoulders. You know what I'm saying? So get the things done you need to get done during the day, but don't put too much weight on your own shoulders. Let yourself be... Be like, okay, I can get these couple things done today, but then if you try to add on 10 more, you're just going to be swamped and then overwhelmed for the day. So we're more of a, a go with the flow, just kind of mm -hmm. go with the flow kind of day. That's what works in our house. We are going to transition into our last uh, category, paving the way. If you're looking for women who have paved the way in the industry, then look no farther than Washington football team's SVP of media and content, Julie Donaldson. Our show with her could be a full recap episode by itself. There were just so many moments that stood out when it comes to breaking through the glass ceiling. She shared with us her failures and how she learned from them and then redefined herself. It was just such a powerful um, interview by itself just to hear such a strong woman, someone that I personally look up to, just be so raw, transparent, and vulnerable. The biggest one for me um, was kind of of, you know, in my personal life, but how it impacted my professional life as well. I, mean, I was going through a divorce um, and my world was just upside down. It was the first divorce in my family ever between grandparents, aunts, uncles, and I it just, I it took it really hard. I didn't know how to handle it. I was not prepared to handle it. And in came the wrong man that I thought was support. And he took advantage of my vulnerabilities. He took advantage of my weakness. Uh, and it became a situation that became abusive. Uh, to the point where he went and spent two years in jail for what he did to me and I spent the night in the hospital and, you know, eventually lost my job for a year and a half because of that. Because I didn't know how to get myself back together, but I was blessed to have a family that supported me and just let me take my time. I went to counseling, I went and to my church and, and re-understood what my faith meant to me and got myself back and cleaned out everything that was in that ugly closet and said, okay, this is who I am. This is my value, this is my dream, and I'm not gonna let somebody steal it from me. And so I was determined to say no, like nobody else is gonna have a, have a say in who I am and what I'm gonna do, I will. Uh, and I got that other opportunity and I think people love to celebrate a comeback story of somebody who goes through a trial in the fire and says, you know what, you come out on the other side better and stronger. And I don't believe I went through that for a reason. I, I think that that's just an excuse to justify what you go through. But here's the thing, I do believe you can make good on everything you do experience in life. And I do believe that God can do that. And so here is something that I went through that was the worst, darkest points of my life. That was a failure on all levels and it's being made good. So I agree with you, Jade, about Julie. Um, for me, another guest that I'd love to hear from on Paving the Way was Dr. Rhonda Williams, the wife of Doug Williams, but she's got her own thing going on. She's amazing. We got on the topic of how uh, girls being in sports will help them to build confidence, uh, valuable lessons, learn uh, the purpose of a greater goal. I think that this is a gem. If uh, uh, especially a young girl growing up in sports, I think she is uh, on a track to be successful mm -hmm. in her career because yep. she knows what it takes. Like she's not scared of the hard work because yeah. it's hard work. It's a right. lot of hard work. You miss out on a lot of things, and but it's yeah. the hard work. But it's for a purpose. Mm -hmm. So and they they know how to work toward that purpose. So I think they carry that on after they graduate from college and they get into their mm -hmm. careers. They understand they have some sacrifice, mm -hmm. but you're working for a greater uh, a greater goal. All right, so let's talk about Jennifer King, <laughs> the one and only when she came on board um, as a coach with the Washington football team. I know the three of us were ready, like, hey, let's get her on the wow. And we were able to do that. And as if her presence alone on the NFL sidelines at the games isn't enough in the sense of helping to pave the way for other women and other young girls because they're going to see her and they're now going to know that it's possible for them, um, which is really, really cool. But one thing that I really enjoyed about this interview was that she talked about Coach Ron Rivera and what he taught her 
during his battle of fighting and beating cancer that really helped her to keep moving forward and how she's just in general very determined to stay ready all the time and continuously set a high standard for herself and for her job. I think that's one of the cool things when you have the opportunity for work for for really cool people and just well-rounded people. It's not always about just the the X's and O's of the sport, but, um, you know, just the, the overall life lessons of, you know, your priorities and, and just the strength that he showed, you know, going through his treatments and still being out there. And I can't imagine, you know, I'm, I'm tired myself in practice sometimes and there he is going through this and, you know, it's like, I can't be tired. <laughs> you know, he's out there <laughs> battling and there's no way I'm tired. And, um, but just those, those things and always staying ready and setting a high standard for yourself and for your work and, um, those are some of those small lessons I've definitely learned from him. We don't really have a clip from this because we talked about it at length, but um, in the beginning, Super Bowl 2020, uh, paving the way, there was a big uh, dispute amongst uh, whether J-Lo and Shakira's Super Bowl was a positive um, performance or not, but we all felt like it showed uh, for women supporting one another was important, which we weren't really doing at that time. Showing a strong body image is is great, right? These women were killing it at their age, confidence in their heritage, being bold and owning their femininity in a way that they wanted to. And I think, again, like I said, it challenged many women on how can we support one another? And it started the conversation. I think, um, you know, over the last year and it's been going on for a long time, but you're, you, women are put into a bucket or to a category. You can't be beautiful and be smart. You can't be sexy and also a VP of something. And I think this performance, <laughs> hard to say Shakira and JLo's performance changed that, but like, I, I really do think that started the conversation, like you said, and we, the three of us were, had a huge debate, not a debate, but a huge conversation about how this really did um, set the tone and open that dialogue and I still look back on that performance and it was iconic, iconic to see two women who are competitors in, in their industry, but just come together and to lift each other up. And uh, I loved that show for us because the three of us were just like all together and all on the same page for this one. Most definitely. And I think, you know, at the end of the day, it was just a reminder that we all need to own who we are. We need to be authentically ourselves and be proud of that and not allow the outside noise, the outside distractions or outside opinions um, hinder you from moving forward in your authentic way and being and showing up as you because you are good enough and that's all that you need to be. And I think that that, you know, at the end of the day was kind of like the sum of the conversation. So still shout out to both JLo and Shakira. <laughs> yeah, and I just have one other note. You know how you say like, don't do anything on social media or don't do things you wouldn't do in front of your mother or your grandmother. JLo said, no, I'm doing what I know is okay in front of my daughter and let me pull her up here, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that just shows you right there. It's like the importance of like her showing her daughter the values of being a strong woman, so. Mm -hmm. I thought that was another plus to it. And the conversation uh, for us happened in the very early stages of the WOW. So I think for us, it really set the tone for um, our individual voices and our United Voices for what the WOW show was going to be. So that whole podcast just really set the tone for the year ahead. Um, we somehow did it. I don't know how we knocked out all of our favorite things, but um, we are going to have overtime next and do a lightning round on our top, top, top favorites. That's next. A new decade demands a new kind of wine. As consumers continue to embrace healthier lifestyles with beverages that taste great and keep in line with their dietary preferences, and wine is no exception. Fresh Vine Wine thoughtfully crafts great tasting premium wines that are low calorie, low carb, low sugar, keto, vegan friendly, and gluten free. Fresh Vine Wines pairs perfectly with your active lifestyle without sacrificing on taste. Available in select stores in DC and Maryland. You can hear every Washington football team game on the Team 980 and streaming on the Radio.com app. Listen to Team 980 every day for expert analysis, Washington football guests, and your calls along with host Kevin Sheehan, Washington football legend Brian Mitchell, Steve Zabin, and more on the official radio of home of the Washington football team. Download the Radio.com app and favorite the Team 980 today to listen on your phone or smart speaker. Race in for a great deal on the Honda of your dreams during the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event. Take advantage of savings on your 
your favorite Honda models like a turbocharged Accord or Civic with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, or a rugged all-wheel drive CRV, HRV, Pilot, and more with features like Honda Sensing, Magic Folding Seats, and three different driving modes. Find the Honda you've been dreaming of. Don't miss the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event going on now. See your local Honda dealer today. We are heading into wow over time and I wanted to do a quick rapid fire lightning round of your top, top, top wow moments. Stephanie, you're up first. Okay. Well, <laughs> mine are from our former name podcast. So uh, I think it, like we talked about the Super Bowl setting the tone and that conversation. I feel like these really set the tone as well for our, our show that we developed. Um, so that was for these episodes four and five, we were talking about our superpowers and we were asking our, the WOW members and they were sharing um, and then our why. So why we do what we do. And Janine was saying, you know, ask yourself why five times that that will help you get to what truly is your passion. And I remember, you know, Janine's, yours was your friends and your family. That's why you want to make more money. That's why you want to travel, right? Those are your whys, them. It boils down to them after you ask the five whys. For me, at first I thought it was because of my boys, but then as I asked the five whys, it was more about paying it forward and showing my boys that there's a greater village around us. And in that village, we need to lift one another up. And then Jade, yours was after you asked your five whys about wanting to be successful, um, it was really kind of showing others from a humble beginning that they can su succeed and not to give up. So that was my like top, top, uh, what I, I thought was great from the wow. No, and I agree. And it's crazy that you picked those because those were some of the most impactful ones for me as well, because a lot of people like just go into life on autopilot and they just wake up and they just do the things that they've always done instead of truly living with purpose. And we really talked about the importance of understanding what your superpower was and the why behind that superpower so that you could live every single day to the fullest and live it with purpose. So I love that you kind of recapped those um, definitely to, to listen to. For me, outside of those, it was hard to pick just one like you picked two Stephanie <laughs> I, I could boil it down to just one um you know from a wow like a women's perspective I would have to say um our interview with Aaron Paré because first of all we were captains together on the first ladies of football so I knew her or know her in a very personal way um and just knowing where she has how she has grown. Um, she's now a Republican member of the North Carolina General Assembly representing the state's 37th House District. So it was just really nice to kind of recap with her. But then I would also say just the interviews with all of our Washington football team insiders. You know, I think one thing that I really, really love about WOW is that, yes, we're talking football, we're talking self-care, we're talk getting advice from these powerful women, but we also have people within the Washington football team that have very strong, powerful pro found voices as well that are willing to come on our show and talk to us as well. So we spoke to, you know, obviously Julie Donaldson, Julie Jensen, Jennifer King, Harat Babalola, um, Mika Lomax, um, Megan Klein, um, and then obviously Stephanie and Courtney Rivera. And then really quick, huge shout out because we had two men that were bold enough <laughs> to come on the wow and talk to us. The one and only the great um, Doug Williams, and then also Jason Wright. And so have Having that dialogue with the two of those men was just for me very important because Doug Williams, I grew up idolizing him because my dad um, became a Washington football team fan because of him. Um, so being able to have that conversation was really important. And then um, and hearing his stories and then talking to Jason Wright just about his vision and what he sees um, to be possible for the Washington football team just I don't know, got me really, really excited about what's to come for this organization. I set you guys up because I too now have two top moments. <laughs> now that you <laughs> talking. I was like, well, I have a couple. Um, but yeah, just if I look back on just like the most fun interview I had, it had to be with Carla Young, Chase Young's mom. That was just like one of my favorite interviews because we got to speak with such a character and a, and a light and she was just so much fun. So if you haven't listened to that interview, I'd highly recommend. It's just a blast to talk to her. Um, and then my other favorite moment that just truly sticks out to me was when we spoke with Katie Cosgrove, who is in Nova's marketing, um, who was in marketing at Innova. And 
looking back on that interview, I just remember um, having like an aha moment and like a chills moment because she was speaking about how she met Janine actually um, a few a few years ago on the sidelines at a, a football game. And she remembered her shoes. She remembered saying hi to her. She remembered that interaction and how personable you were. And then flash forward to, or fast forward to um, a breast cancer event that the Washington football team was hosting with Innova. And Janine also spoke at it. And just seeing the impact that Janine had had on her just really made like this full circle moment for um, what it means to be a wild woman and what it means to be intentional about what you're um, what you're giving off to the world and how you're being perceived because that can come back around and you could really make an impact on someone's day. Um, so that that whole interview, I remember we all just had chills, we were crying, and it just really stands out to me because it kind of shows exactly um, the whole point of the wow and to be impactful. Uh, that was that was crazy. That was fun. I highly recommend to all of our listeners if you're new here to to go back and listen to the moments that we recommended, but just take some time and listen to all of the episodes. They all have gold throughout all of the interviews. Um, Stephanie, before we wrap this up, can you share with us events that WOW has going on this month? Absolutely. We have two more uh, motivational Mondays. So Monday, the 22nd is creating change with love. That is our theme. Dr. Suzanne Nixon is the guest speaker, and then we'll do yoga afterwards. So it's mind and body getting strong together. And then the final Monday, we will have four women-owned businesses in the DMV talking to women about economic empowerment. If you have questions about starting your own company, they're here for you, here for support. And then we'll do a, a strength training workout. So those are our final two Women's History Month events. Yeah, and really quick, you know, in talking about wow women, you know, Stephanie, wow, right? Because this was your idea mm -hmm. and look at, you know, went from a podcast to a show. We are, you know, had some amazing guests on our first year. We're going to, it's going to continue to grow and get bigger and we're going to continue to have a huge impact on the community. So, you know, thank you to you. Um, you mentioned, you know, thanks to Stevie and just, you know, to everyone within the Washington football team that supports this effort, that supports this journey that we're going on. Um, the fact that we did win an NFL best practice in and of itself says that this, our voice is needed. Um, and and I'm just really excited for what's to come. So thanks to, you know, all of our wow listeners and the men out there, because I know there are men that listen to us as well. Thank you for your support. You know, thank you for sharing, um, you know, what you want to hear, because it helps us make sure that we're touching on the right things and discussing the right topics for this community. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for joining the wow, where we connect and empower women through sports and a huge thanks to our partner, Fresh Fine Wine. Till next time. Chesapeake Employers Insurance has been helping Maryland businesses keep their workers safe. With competitive pricing and an AM Best, A- financial strength rating, it's no surprise that Chesapeake Employers is Maryland's largest writer of workers' comp insurance. At the end of every workday, someone's waiting for your safe return. Connect with your agent or visit ceiwc.com. Reliable power from Novec keeps us connected to so many good things. Life-saving equipment and life-affirming moments depend on reliable, safe electricity that keeps us plugged in and powered up. And as a not-for-profit cooperative owned by the people it serves, Novec keeps rates low and service high. Novec, keeping life bright. Every time the Maryland Lottery sells a Fast Play Progressive ticket, the jackpot grows. The Lucky Numbers Fast Play game has a jackpot that starts at $100,000 and goes up from there. New Diamond Mines jackpot starts at $250,000 and keeps growing and growing. Play all the Fast Play Progressive games from the Maryland Lottery. Play fast, win fast. And please play safely and responsibly. Hey, Washington fans, sports betting is officially live in Virginia. Right now, FanDuel is offering a $25 sign-up bonus to anyone who uses code WASHINGTON. Just visit FanDuelSportsBook.com or download the FanDuel Sportsbook app. Use promo code WASHINGTON after signing up to get a $25 bonus and site credit. No deposit required. That's promo code WASHINGTON. Download the FanDuel Sportsbook app to get started. Must be at least 21 years of age and present in Virginia. Site credit is non-withdrawable and expires in seven days. Terms apply. See sportsbook.fanduel.com for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER.